Hi, I'm Nikki from Find Me Crafting. If you're looking for a great gift idea for someone who is graduating or advancing at school, you should give the money lay a try. These things are very simple to make. They're awesome to hand to the graduate on the day of graduation. Really jazzes up the cap and gown. You can add in the school colors or just personalize it by making it their favorite color. It's got a ribbon strap, so it's actually quite comfortable to wear. And it's a whole lot of money in one spot, making it one heck of a great gift. Come on, I'll show you how. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new patterns or projects. Here's what you're going to need for supplies. You of course need some cash, some bills. I'm gonna be using singles. You can use any bill that you want. You could use fives, tens, twenties, fifties. However you want to go, you can mix it up and use some singles, some fives, whatever. I ended up using 36 bills to get the length I wanted. You're going to need some tape. I really like this kind. This is Scotch removable tape and it goes on and comes off really easily from the bills. So you put it on, you're going to need to secure it, but it peels right off without doing any damage, without being too sticky, but it does stick. So I highly recommend this particular kind of tape. You're also going to need some yarn or string. I'm going to be using this kind. It's a cotton yarn. It is a size three. If you're looking for sizes right here, it says three. It's a lightweight yarn. So it's thinner than a medium yarn, but still it feels a little more secure to me. But if you have other kinds of string, whatever works for you. If you're using yarn, I would also recommend some of this jewelers wire. This is a 28 gauge. I, this is what I had on hand, so you can try other gauges of wire, but I'm going to use this as a way to thread my yarn through the beads. You're going to need some beads. I'm choosing to use the school colors, and these are 14 millimeter sized beads. You're also going to want some colored cardstock. Once again, I'm just using school colors. You need some ribbon, something that will match the colors that you're choosing to use. Mine is 7 8 inch wide. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you think will be comfortable to go around the person's neck. I recommend a lighter just to burn the edges of the ribbon so that they don't fray. And some crazy glue or hot glue to secure your knots so that they don't come undone. I like to start by getting all of my pieces ready. So first I'm going to fold all of my bills. You want to start at one of the short ends and fold it about a centimeter over. It does not have to be precise, but you fold it over about that amount, flip it around, fold it the same amount, press it down, keep fan folding like this until you get to the other end. Once you have it all folded, you are going to want to fold it in half, trying to line up the edges so that it is even and give it a really good crease. I like to wiggle it back and forth while I'm applying a lot of pressure to the fold. And you open it up and you wanna bring these two ends together and put on some tape. I find it easiest to grab a bit of tape, put it on one side where my fingers are holding, then flip the tape over the other side, over the top of it and give it a good press. That's one side. Now we're going to turn it and we're going to bring the other two sides together like so. And sometimes it'll fold weird and you have to even it up so that your sides are going to meet up. They're going to match up evenly. And once again, apply tape. I'm putting tape only on the back sides of the bills so that they all look uniform. And voila. In addition to the money, I'm going to fold up some cardstock that will be the same size and use those pieces of cardstock as a way to add some color and intermix them in with the bills. You can just trace around the money. Or if you just want to cut it to the right size, these bills are 6.14 inches long and 2.61 inches tall. Whatever works. You would fold this the same way you folded the dollar bills, but I will say that if, like me, you found the perfect colors in cardstock versus paper, it's going to require regular tape, not the removable kind. You need to get your yarn or your string cut. 
I am using a lot of yarn. I have cut about 140 inches of this because it needs to be able to fit around the person's neck down onto their chest times two. You're going to be using two pieces and then in that loop, it needs to go all the way around their neck and down wherever you want it to lay on their chest. I know that if I have too much at the end, I can easily trim that off. If I don't have enough, I have to start over. So I'm starting long. If you're choosing to add beads, the easiest thing to do is to use beads that are larger, that have a larger hole in the center so that you can easily put your yarn or your string through the beads. And you have to be able to go both of the pieces of yarn through that one bead. Now, if you're like me and you found beads that you thought were the perfect color and that just had to be what you use, that's gonna make your life a little more difficult. But you know what? It's gonna be worth it. So I'm gonna show you how to easily thread on these beads. If you take your 28 gauge jewelry wire and cut yourself a length, I am using some wire cutters to cut it. This doesn't really matter how long you go with it, just so that it's easy to grip after you fold it in half. So I'm going to put my two ends together here and bend my wire. Do not bend the bottom, that makes life difficult. Down at the bottom where you've made the loop, you're going to put one end of your yarn and give yourself a little bit of a tail. And then you wanna squish the wire so that your opening is closed. Down here by the yarn, you want it to be as skinny as possible. And you get this straight. And then you can just stick the ends of your wire into your bead and easily pull your yarn onto the bead. So I'm gonna do that for both ends of my yarn. And now when it's time to add that bead, you get one side through and then you can thread through the second side. Put in your wire and pull and voila, both sides are on the bead. Seriously, that's gonna make your life so much easier, trust me. Once you have your pieces ready to go and you have your open ends over here, I have the bead I just threaded on to, this is the ends I, I'm starting with, with my wire attached. You're gonna to wanna to go all the way to the other end where you have the loop and make a knot. We wanna have just a little bit of a loop about what half an inch or so left at the end just to tuck our ribbon through to tie on for the neck. So I need to make a knot right about there. So you just leave yourself that little bit of loop. You can double it up if you want. And now I'm going to put my bead all the way down by that end. I want to start and end with a bead. So this is the very start. So I've threaded on my bead and now I'm going to take my two ends and I'm going to thread on one of the dollar bills that I have folded and taped. So through the openings here on the side, there's a tiny little opening here and a tiny little opening here. I'm gonna thread one through one side and the other through the other side. And then if you hold both ends, you can slide that all the way down by your bead. When all is said and done, I have $36, so 36 bills. I do have one section of four pieces of colored cardstock and 11 beads. I did start and end with a bead. So there's one bead here and one bead at my other end. I am just going to knot this section here that I'm gonna put a knot at the other end by my last bead so I know that's not gonna come off. I'm gonna trim my excess. Now I wanna just attach my ribbon. I am gonna put my ribbon through the loop that I left at the other end. Mine's a little loose, like there's a little bit of a gap there. So I have it through that loop, but I'm actually gonna try to tie the knot closer to the bead. And for this side, I do want to cut the extra ribbon and I am going to lightly burn it so it doesn't fray. So you just run your lighter along the edge. That'll melt it. I'm going to test it out on my own neck for distance to the other side. 
So I'm going to make sure that my ribbon isn't twisted and then I'm going to tie the two ends of my yarn where I want my strap to end. I'm going to knot it around my ribbon and then I am going to knot the ribbon at this end too. So I have a matching tail on both sides and I will trim and burn that edge as well. I am going to finish it off by applying some crazy glue to this knot because you definitely do not want this coming loose and dropping all the money anywhere. Now you're ready to give a gift they will appreciate at the graduation as well as after it. Happy crafting!